I am Parker Finn. I'm the writer, director, and producer of Smile 2. Sky is a character who is, uh, you know, she's really split between, you know, her, her public facing life and uh, everything going on personally behind the scenes. And it was really important um, to sort of show the difference there, these expectations um, that are put upon her as a public figure um, and sort of the demands of celebrity and, and you know, everyone around her in her life um, versus the real person uh, behind the scenes. Um, and I really loved that dichotomy. It felt like a really right place to start for a Smile film. Working with Naomi, she's just so unbelievably talented. I mean, she can do everything. Um, but what I found so incredible about working with her is the way she, she dials into emotion and intensity and how she can um, really vacillate between uh, extremes. She also happens to be a incredibly talented singer and dancer, um, which of course really went into the Sky Riley character. Um, she sings all of the uh, songs and does her own choreography in the film. Um, and yeah, it's just, she's a force to be reckoned with. The costumes in this film are, are vastly different uh, than what we were doing in the first film. And, you know, you have these two sides to Sky. You have, again, the very public facing version of her where we see her both um, very glammed up for certain moments or in uh, really high end performance costumes, but then also sort of, you know, in her personal life, um, sort of way more low key and at times even potentially trying to um, sort of disguise uh, her own celebrity from the people around her. For the the performance looks, these were uh, created from scratch, and it was this process of going through and and looking at what had been done over the years in pop and sort of, you know, um, seeing what was working for us and felt like Sky, um, and, then, and then developing them. We always talked about how Sky is a bit of a alien from another planet walking around amongst humans, and we wanted to make sure that she always stands out no matter what environment she's in, um, that there's this sort of iconic uh, sort of rock star look going on there. Smile 2 is immediately a smile film, but it also 100% has its own identity, its own metabolism, and I felt that it was, you know, this this feeling that um, what smile is, is, is it's finds a, a character who is going through something incredibly dramatic in their life and, and Smile sort of comes in and invades their world. Um, so while uh, they take place in the same universe, um, the first film was, you know, really about Rose's world and this new one is about Sky's world. And so um, we leaned into uh, this sort of, um, you know, haute couture sort of high-end performance stuff in this film that felt very uh, related to Sky and everything she's going through psychologically. Um, and we also, um, you know, wanted to, while the film is still just as anxious and nasty as the first film, um, we also wanted to lean into uh, a surprising sense of dark humor um, that uh, I'm hoping audiences will really engage with and, and get a kick out of. I love horror because I think it's such a terrific way to hold a mirror up to what we're all feeling as a society. Um, you know, it's a it's a great vehicle to explore um, what it is to be human in this world, all the ways that it's terrifying. And I think it's a it's a really excellent um, Trojan horse to explore themes and motifs that um, you know on their own might be either too heavy or too bleak um, to, to sort of engage with, but by hanging them on the spine of a genre film that feels, um, you know, like a roller coaster ride, it suddenly turns into this um, really exciting, like, event on a weekend. And uh, I mean, those are the things that I love about horror, and it's, it's my favorite genre. I think movies are best experienced theatrically, but Smile 2, we really designed to play on the big screen. Um, you know, from the visuals to the score, to the music, uh, the Sky Riley music, um, to the crunch of bone and the, uh, the slosh of blood. Um, all of these elements come together 
so excellently on a big screen, um, but really I think it's all about the communal experience of watching horror in a dark room with other like-minded moviegoers. Um, there's just something really special that happens when everybody is screaming or laughing or jumping or, or groaning all at the same time, and uh, it just it's magic that uh, can't be replicated anywhere else.